Hello, my name's Father Jonathan. Quite a lot of you will have met me before, but if you haven't, I'm the vicar at St Gabriel's Church, where this is being broadcast from. It's the church with a big tower that you can actually see from the school on Heaton Road. And if you live in Heaton, this is your church. Normally, I'm in school every week at lunchtime on a Monday, pottering around and helping with lunch duty and talking to people. And I've really missed doing that this year. And I'm looking forward to coming back next year. And I quite often do an assembly for the school and usually assemblies at Easter and Christmas. So this year, I'm really grateful that I've been invited to do this assembly here in the church that I serve. Before I begin though, I'd like to thank on behalf of the community and as vicar of this church, all the staff and teachers at your school. They have made incredible sacrifices this year to make sure that your education can continue. And I want to say a very big thank you to them. And I'm hoping that over Christmas, they can have a really good rest. I've been thinking for my Christmas assembly about the word Corona. Corona is Latin for a, th for a crown. And I've been thinking about the people that we crown, because when we crown someone, we give them power. And in the Christmas story that many of you may know, there are three sets of people who have crowns. The first of them is King Herod, who reigned over the area where Jesus was born in Israel. The second set of kings that we hear about are those who travel to see the birth of this new baby. Traditionally, there are three kings. And then there is the baby Jesus himself, who when he was older, was crowned with a crown of thorns and mocked before he died on the cross. Each of these sets of people had different ideas of how power works. Herod, who was a horrible man, ruled through tyranny, through fear. His crown, his way of exercising power, was to make people scared. Those who travelled to see Jesus and followed the stars found their power in the heavens. They followed what was going on up in the sky and that led them to Jesus. And Jesus himself, as he grew up, taught a whole new way of being a king or a monarch. He taught that being a king was about the power of love. He showed love to every single human being and to all of creation. He showed that no one was unlovable, that everyone was special and important to him. He showed too that if you love, then suffering and sacrifice will be part of it. That's what his crown represents. And actually in this church, just behind me is a depiction, a statue of Jesus sitting crowned on his throne, ruling over the earth. But whatever you believe, you can experience the power of love this Christmas. You can do that by giving someone a gift. You could tell them something nice in a message, or if it's safe and you're allowed, you could give them a hug and show them an expression of how much you love them. I wonder if you might just spend a moment thinking about what I've said, about who you give power to and how you might show love this Christmas. And while you're quiet, I'm going to say a prayer. Thank you, God, that your power comes through love. Help us to be all loving 
this Christmas time. Amen. I hope you have a very happy and peaceful Christmas and I can't wait to see you in the new year.